Okay, today I'm gonna to show you what we do for traction in the clinic for people with really acute back pain or a really fresh lumbar disc bulge. And then I'm gonna show you some options for how you're gonna do that at home, because it's really important. If this stuff works in the clinic and they get a lot of relief, what are they gonna do at home? So there's some options for you guys at home. If you're getting lumbar traction from the physio in the clinic, which is really helpful in those acute stages, how are you gonna do that at home? I've got some great ideas for you. So the setup for this one, just for FYI, what we use is a seat belt. Now, what we're trying to do is aim for a bit of gapping in the spine. It gives them a bit of release. That pressure off from loading on that disc triggers a little bit of muscle release, a bit of spasm, gives them a bit of relaxation, a bit of pain relief. What we do is use a towel, just like this. And this is the sort of stuff you can't really do at home. So we do this in the clinic. Like I said, we're gonna give you some options to replicate it as much as you can at home. Put that towel around the back of the cars. And the reason you got the towel there is just to make it a bit more comfy on the cars from the seatbelt. This is just a standard physio seatbelt, pretty strong sort of thing. This one's gonna go between, obviously, or around the legs, but the towel is gonna to give you that buffer. And what I need to do is make sure, I'm trying to try and get that around my hips sort of as low as I can. So I'm getting that line of pull as horizontal as I possibly can. For them, being on a um, bed with some towels is quite helpful because it gives it a bit of grip, so they're not gonna slide. If they're just on a slippery surface, they're just gonna slide too much. So the towel's quite good for a grip. And what I do is just monitor how much relief this is giving them. So if they're in a bit of pain, we just go backwards this way, and I'm gonna use my body weight just to give them a bit of traction to see how the response is. What I need to do is make sure I need to give enough to give you that little bit of relief if I go too far, it might be too much pull and they might get some spasms. So it's just in that happy position where they're feeling relief. And then that would go for about a minute at a time. So I can just sit there, easy for me, easy for them. So this one's a great one in the clinic. We'd only do this sort of three or four times just to give them a bit of relaxation so we can then work more with them in the clinic. Now, how do you do that at home? Well, the first one I give them is a partner one. So this one requires the person to have someone at home. Claire, do you want to roll on your front for me? This one here, if they are lying face down, obviously they're not gonna be on a clinic table. They won't have a clinic table at home. I'd suggest you don't use your kitchen table unless it's really sturdy. Probably what you could use is your bed. They are a little bit low, or maybe your sofa. They are a little bit low though, um, but it's, it's the best thing you can do compared to what you're doing in the clinic. And you'll need a partner. So this is the one, if you've got a partner at home, and I'll show you one if you don't have a partner at home. So what you do, grab the same sort of bath towel. And it needs to be decent, like I would, if you can, try and get a, a beach towel, a big long one, because you need a bit of length. Put that round the top of their ankles, okay? Bring their ankles in, wrap it underneath each one, and inside. So round and in the middle like that. So what you're doing is you're giving it a little bit of a, a sort of a tie if you like. Again, they're gonna be on a surface, preferably they're on a surface that's not really slippery. So again, if you're on a kitchen table that's too slippery, you need to put some towels down or something like that. If they're on their bed, that's probably good enough. They don't need to grip on and hold. I want them relaxed, because if they grip on and hold, they'll tense up, they've gotta be fully relaxed. Now, in a prone position like this, if they've got, say, a disc bulge or disc injury like that, usually the prone position's quite comfortable for them, okay? But be careful if it's not, you know, you might need to do this on the back on the other exercise, but if they're comfortable in their front, this is a really good relieving one. What you do is simply push your knee into the back of the bed, okay, or your foot in the back of the bed or the back of the table, and you're, that's like an anchor point, and you're gonna just hold on here and just pull and watch them until they either get the relief or they start dragging one or the other, and they can tell you when they get to feel that sort of ease off, if you like. The only thing about this one, obviously I'm a physio, I've learned how to do this, I can hold on, I can hold on this for ages. You're only trying for a minute at a time. Those at home, you may find you don't have the grip strength too much or you don't have the power. Try and use your body weight with that. All you're trying to do is, and that's why I've got towels, because it's hard to grab onto the legs, is use the towel, you just gotta get that so you've really got a good grip here, and then don't pull with your arms, okay? Have your arms straight, so you're only gripping with your forearms, and then you just lean back. Use your body weight as the pull, not your, don't try and pull with the arms because you're gonna to fatigue too much. Let them switch off and just pull back with that. And again, it's a minute at a time. This is super effective. For those people who are really struggling at home, this is a really nice one to calm them down so they're a bit less 
spasm me, a bit less pain, they can do their exercise a little bit better. So it's a nice one to help them along. So if you don't have a partner, what are you gonna do? What you need is a band. So let's go in the gym and have a look at that. Okay, so the traction at home, if you don't have a partner, is what you'll need as a band. This is like your partner. This band here is a very thick power band. Now, some people have thinner power bands. I wouldn't advise any thinner than this because any thinner than this is gonna go around the back of your calves, it's gonna cut in, plus the tension's probably not gonna be enough to give you the traction. So try and go thick like that. Um, and the surface that you need to be on, again, needs to be grippy. If it's too slippery, it's gonna slide. You're not gonna be able to get that traction sort of grip, if you like. What you'll also need is something heavy that's not gonna move. Now, this doesn't have to be a rig in the gym or anything like This can just be your heavy table leg, okay? So something that's not going to move like that is gonna be where you're gonna put the anchor point. So that needs to go around there, so that's not gonna move, because that's gonna be your traction sort of anchor point. You put your legs in here, and what she'll need to do, she starts off just with a bit of grip there. What she's going to do then, that's not going to give her too much at all. What she has to do is then she shuffles back and walks back and pulls her feet back, moves her body, pulls her feet, moves her body. And she can do this with a sore back. You can do this with a bit of a disc bulge. That's fine. She just needs to wiggle back until she gets enough pull from the band and the legs, just like I was doing in the clinic to give her that traction in her back and give her that release. It's not as effective as the partner one, and it's certainly not effective as the one on the gym, um, in the clinic, but it's the best option you've got if you're by yourself and you need this. Plus, you're on your back, so you're gonna have a lot of release or pressure release in your back when you're doing this because the disc pressure is down, so this is helpful. So with this one, again, one minute at a time, trying to get as much drag as you can from the band on your back. She'll really have to sort of pull in with her hamstrings. The only thing about this is she has to be quite active in the hamstrings to hold that there. Um, but give that one a shot because that is super effective for those at home to give you that relief. Hope that helps. See you next time.